Lil Durk just came out with his newest album, Almost Healed. Let's talk about it. Okay, the first thing to mention is that 21 tracks is just way too long for a Lil Durk album. It clocks in at almost an hour long listen. About half of the album could have been cut in my opinion, and I'm not even kidding. If this was like a 10 to 12 track long album with only the highlights, all the greatest songs on the album, this would be a really good album that people would talk about for months to come. But because it's so bloated, so long, I think that it is going to get lost in the shuffle with the newer albums and it's just going to fade into the background eventually. But it's still all love for me. I want to applaud Lil Durk for the effort that he put into this album. You can tell that he was really focused. It's really respectable and I love the fact that he opens up about the battles that he goes through personally on a daily basis. I always am rooting for artists to succeed, whether it be in the music industry, financially, and especially personally, and I hope that Dirk found some peace in the making of this album. So the album starts off with a skit where Alicia Keys acts as a therapist talking to Lil Dirk, which personally, I didn't actually like it all that much. I thought it was kind of weird having Alicia Keys do it. But it led me to think, I really wondered the influence that Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers had on Lil Durk and on the making of this album. Kendrick's Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers came out last year, and of course it as well is just a huge therapy session. It's just interesting to draw up the correlations between the albums, and cool to see the influence that Kendrick has even on younger generations of rappers like Lil Durk. After the intro, we get Pelico, which is one of the better tracks on the album. The production is really fun on this one, and it shows you what the highs on this album are going to sound like. Then we get the lead single that was released a couple weeks ago, All My Life, which has a J. Cole feature on it. This song is amazing. I, I really like it. I've seen a few people on Twitter saying they don't like it, they think it's corny. I don't know. I don't really get it. I think it's good. Later on, we have Never Imagined with Future. Both Future and Dirk are at a high level on this track, and this is one of the best tracks on the album for sure. There's also a 21 Savage feature on the album, which is also good. A Kodak Black feature. This track isn't as good as the other feature tracks of the album, but pretty good still. At this point, We Stuck is my favorite track that doesn't have a feature on the album. I think Lil Durk sounds really, really good on this one. This is one that's going to be in my rotation for a while. A Juice World feature. They sound really good together. This is a good track. And this was not expected. We've got a Morgan Wallen feature on a Lil Durk album, and I absolutely 100% hate to say it, but for me, it works. I was not expecting to like this track at all going into my first listen, but, and I don't even know why, I can't even explain it, I can't put it into words. I like it. I don't even like Morgan Wallen. I don't, I'm not a big country fan at all, and from what I've heard about Morgan Wallen himself, I'm not a fan of him either but this track is kind of good. I don't know. I assume most people are going to hate it and I'm going to be in the minority saying that I like it, but I do. What can I say? Overall rating this album, I'm going to say that it is overall a pretty mid album. But like I said at the beginning of the video, I think it's because it's just too long. If it was shorter, it would be better. But there's too many gaps in between the high moments on the album for me. I'm not going to have this album in my rotation very long but I will have a few tracks in my rotation. Which of course, you can find my favorite tracks from the album which have been added to my New Music Friday playlist. I update this playlist every week with my favorite tracks released on New Music Friday. I'm a little behind, so so far this Dirk album is the only album I've listened to, but I'm staying up late and I'm gonna have all these tracks added to it later. I also think it's important to note that there have been reports that Lil Durk actually had some Kanye West production and even some Kanye West vocals on the album that he completely scratched. He basically just said it didn't fit the vibe of the album and that he wasn't ready to figure out how to work with the creativity that Kanye added. So hopefully we see some of these tracks surface maybe on a deluxe album or something later this year. But please let me know below in the comments what did you think about Lil Durk's new album Almost Healed. I am Honeybee Reviews, and if you like this video, please do not forget to follow for more music-related content.